Hey, what's up? This is going to be hopefully the very last of the Reddit app series, uh, unless, of course, I decide to add things in the future. But as of right now, this is currently supposed to be the last one. And what we're going to do in this one is we're going to clean things up a little bit. So currently we have sort of an app that looks like this. There's not really any styling. When you go to uh, the threads, they're, they don't really look very good. Um, yeah, and there's, there's no coloring or anything like that. So now we're just going to kind of clean things up a little bit. So basically we're gonna turn this into this. And the first thing uh, I wanna start with is we're gonna start with this action bar. So we're gonna create a drawable file. So go new uh, resource file. And I'm gonna call it blue border. And we're gonna create a layer list. And inside the layer list, we're gonna put an item. And um, I, I did a tutorial on this. There's, um, there's kind of, there's a lot of ways to do this type of material design. I don't think there's any like right or wrong way. This is just sort of the way that I uh, I prefer to do it. Um, so if you know a better way to do it, obviously mention it, and uh, I can. I'm always up for trying new things. But this is kind of the easiest way that I've I've learned how to do it. So we create an item and we declare um, bottom top right and left for the bottom top right and left borders. And we put a shape inside and uh, we we declare what type of shape it is. We're going to make a rectangle since it's just going to be like a rectangular border. We close off our shape and inside the shape we create a stroke. And this is going to be the width of the border. So I, I would uh, declare a width variable, go 1dp. And then we want to uh, select the color. And oh, I need to actually get a bunch of colors. So we're going to stop this for just a sec. I'm going to values and I'm going to add a whole bunch of colors. If you don't know how to add colors into here, all I do usually is I'll just go to Google and I'll go hex color chart and I'll just pick one any one's usually good and you can pick all these different hex codes and then add them into your color file and then you can reference them so I actually have a whole bunch of colors obviously because I've made the app ahead of time so I'm just gonna grab all my colors and throw them in here alright so there's all my colors I got uh, red at blue a teal white black gray and then a slightly darker gray and these are all the colors that I'm gonna use to uh, color the app so we can close the colors file and then we're going to reference our colors. The first one here, I'm actually just going to use a uh, Android color, a default Android color for a dark, a dark blue. And then inside here, we're going to create a solid and I guess set the, the solid to a color. And this is where I'm going to set that Reddit blue. And so there we go. Now we have um, that kind of darker border on the outside and on the inside you have that like Reddit uh, light blue color and as I mentioned before this this width right here um, is actually the width of the border so if you want to change the width of the border you could just increase this to a larger number and it would change the actual width of the border okay so we're done in this file um, we can close a bunch of this stuff we don't really need any of this and let's go into activity main because that's where the toolbar is and then we're gonna go over to the toolbar and go background and we'll go at drawable and we're gonna set our blue border and there we go, we can see our blue border get set to the top there. And we also have that same toolbar inside of the comments activity. So let's go into activity comments and we're gonna do the exact same thing. Just go into the toolbar and type background, uh, at drawable and there's our blue border. So now we have that nice blue border up in the top of our app. Now let's create that styling for the reply button. And it's gonna be the same as the one that we're gonna add in activity main. We're gonna style this the same way. So let's create a new uh, drawable resource file. I'm gonna call it blue rounded button because that's what it's gonna be. And this one's gonna be a little different than the last resource file because um, we want to change the color when it's clicked. So if you watch the demo that I did, it's at the, the button is actually blue, but then when you click it, like if I click on this button in the demo, it turns red briefly while you click it. So we're gonna have a little bit of a different uh, sort of method here for creating this styling. Uh, we're gonna start with an item just like we did last time and I'm just gonna close it and go back up here. And we go, we'll start with the pressed state. So what we do for a pressed state is go Android state pressed and set that equal to true. And so now this is gonna be the styling that gets set when the button is pressed. And we're gonna do a second item underneath this one and we won't have this parameter in it because we don't this is going to be for when the when the button is not pressed. So inside here we'll create a shape and then inside the shape we'll create a solid and we'll get a color on the solid so we're going to go at color and just color accent. It's going to be that, that red color for when we press the button 
whoops, I don't want to close the tags. Just want to do that. And then we need to define our stroke just like we did before. We'll do a color and we'll do at color, uh, just color black. And then we'll set the width and uh, I'm going to set it to 1DP, but of course you can set it to whatever you like. And we want some rounded corners on the buttons. I don't know if you noticed in the demo. So we can do that by setting a radius and we can set, I'm going to set a really big radius because I want it to be almost like bubbly looking, but obviously um, you can change this to whatever you like. And that's going to be it. So I'm actually going to just copy this and it's going to be relatively the same thing, but I'm going to get rid of this state pressed and I just need to change this to, uh, I think it's like the Reddit, Reddit teal color. Oh, whoops, close that tag. There we go. So now uh, it shows up as that Reddit teal color. But when we, if we were to press that button, it's going to show as this color accent. So we're done in this blue rounded button XML file. We can close that. And I'm actually going to close this blue border one too. And now we're going to look for our refresh feed button and go down here. And we just need to set the background. So add drawable, blue rounded button. There we go. Now let's do the same thing in activity comments, but obviously on the other reply button. Where is it? Right here. So we just go background and same thing. And there's one more layout. I think it's in activity login and we're going to have that login button right there. And we're going to do the exact same thing. There we go. So there's all of our buttons. All right, let's take a look at our app. Uh, okay, so let's actually edit these card views a little bit. Let's make these card views look a little better. So we'll go into card layout main. I want to add kind of like a little bit of a border here just to make this stand out a little better. So let's go and create a new drawable file. And I'm going to call this one gray border. And this is going to be very similar to the, um, uh, what was it, blue border one. So we're going to create a layer list. And inside the layer list, we will create an item. And actually, I'm just going to go and copy a whole bunch of that. So I'm just going to grab all of this stuff and throw it in there. And the only difference is I want to change this to white. So color white. And this is going to be a gray color to this kind of light gray color. And then we'll go back to activity comments and uh, no, no, not there. We want to go to card layout main and down into the card view and let's set a background. So at drawable uh, gray border. So there we go. That'll give it a little bit of a uh, gray border that'll stand out a little better. And now I want to make the card title stand out a little better because it's uh, it's kind of the most important thing out of out of this, uh, out of all the parameters that are inside here, like the author and the updated aren't as important. So let's set a, a text color. So we'll go text color, at color, whoops, color, and we're gonna get uh, dark gray. There should be a dark gray one. There we go, dark gray. So that'll that'll make it stand out a lot better. And it's not bold, so that's good. I definitely don't want it to be bold. And then I just want to change the way the image is done a little bit here. I want to add some padding on the top. Just do 10 dp. And I want to add some padding on the bottom. I'll also just do 10 dp. And that's just going to give it a little bit more space. It'll kind of look like that it's hovering in the middle of the card view a little better. Okay, so let's close all these just to clean it up a little. And now let's go into comments layout. And we're going to do something very similar to what we just did. I just want to set a background the same one. We're going to go that gray border here. And uh, I want to get rid of that bold on the title because that looks really ugly. And we'll change it to the text color and do that dark gray again. And then what else do we got? Um, what would we do here? Activity login, that's good. Uh, input dialog, oh, we got that button. Let's do the same thing with our button. We'll set the background to the blue rounded button. So that looks a little better. And maybe let's put a background up here. I want it to be a black border, not a gray border. So let's create a new, new file. We'll call it uh, black border. And it's gonna be very similar to the blue border. So I'm gonna copy all that, put it in here. And what's the only difference is this is gonna be white and then this is gonna be black. Oops, black, color black, there we go. We can close that and let's go up here and draw a little black border. That should look a little better. So we can close that dialog box, check out activity main again. Oh, actually, um, I wanted to make a lighter, lighter blue button. So we'll go copy. I'm just going to copy this blue rounded button XML file. I'm going to paste it and I'm going to go uh, light blue rounded button. And we're going to change this to Reddit. What is it? Reddit blue. There we go. 
I'm going to go into activity main and I'm going to change this to uh, light blue rounded button. And I want to do the same thing in not the comments layout in card layout main. No, uh, comments layout. No. Oh, the input dialog, yes. So we'll change that one. And there was one more layout. I think it was activity comments. There we go. And change that. There we go. All right. Let's let's uh, let's run this and take a look. I think I actually like that dark one better, but that's fine. Hit refresh feed. This doesn't look right. Those cards don't look like they're really elevated. So we'll have to change that. And oh, this needs a background too. So uh, let's get some more elevation on these cards. We'll go to card layout main and. Let's uh, set elevation to 10 dp, and also, so if we click on these posts, uh, this needs a background. So I think that black border there is what I had in the demo. Yeah, activity comments. So we'll go to the top, and where do I want? I want to put the here around this relative layout. So we'll do background and do wherever the black border is. There we go. So that'll, that should look better. Okay, let's try to run that now. Okay, go to picks. Yeah, it still doesn't really look right. And at the top, I want to border on this, this whole box right here. So we're going to change uh, activity comments and I want to add a border to this top section right here. So I'm going to close everything and I think it was um, activity main. Yeah, so let's, let's add a Add a black background or a black border around there, and while we're here, I'm gonna change this back to uh, the other blue. So blue rounded button, and I know why it looks weird. Let's change the text color to white. Color white. There we go. That looks better. And maybe change that to wrap content. Yeah, that looks better. It's a little smaller. Okay, now into card layout main, and this should be, this should be it. Oh, that's why it looks weird because all this padding. There. Okay, let's run it now and take a look. There we go. That bar looks that looks good now. Refresh feed, and there's our feed. Yeah, that looks much better. Everything just fits in there better. And then if we click on one, yeah, yeah, that looks that looks good. Obviously, um, you can add things if you like. Pretty easy to. Um, oh, actually, I just saw something. That's bold. I think. I don't want that. Uh, was that activity comments? Yes. The text view here is bold. Yes. So let's just change that to gray. That color. Nope, I want darker. Okay, so that's it. We're gonna we're gonna end off here, and um, yeah, feel free. Definitely leave comments if you want anything added. But uh, as of right now, this is kind of it for the Reddit tutorial series. Um, congrats if you came this far. I'm sure you learned a ton. There's a, a lot of stuff that we go over in this. And integrating it with the Reddit API was pretty cool. I definitely really enjoyed doing that. If you learned a lot in this tutorial series, please feel free to share with anybody who you think would also benefit from this. Definitely leave some likes. The, those are always nice to see. And uh, yeah, thanks for, uh, thanks for watching.